Is this headphones? Those are cell phone chargers if you need one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. How's it going, John? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Doing a bit of driving. I've seen the city, so it's <laughs> not complaining. Is it busy out tonight? Um, it hasn't been too bad. Hasn't been too bad. I started in the north side, and then okay. I've just been kind of, kind of driving around. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's usually bad, like right around five, and then. Now, unfortunately, you know they've been using this as a, a way to get onto like. Oh yeah, definitely not going to do that. That's you a one way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was trying to figure out what it was trying to have me do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't know. For some reason, the GPS is a little tricky here, where it's like it doesn't know which direction I'm going. I got you. How's your day going? You getting Very to, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Get to enjoy the nice weather out we've had today? Yeah, we, I was, we were going to, some friends and I, we, well, they are up on the lakefront. They're up on the, at the South Shore Cultural Center on 71st. Uh -huh. But it's a little chilly out, so now <laughs> we're just going to hang out at a friend's house. I'm on my way there now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I feel that chill in the air, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's like, no, it's too soon. Too soon. Yeah. But, but I it think just it's makes you to, yeah. enjoy it though, what's left. And it should. And I think it's supposed to warm up again. So oh, next week's supposed to be almost to 100 degrees. So yeah. definitely enjoy every moment. That's the plan. That's, That's the, plan. the goal. That is yeah. definitely the goal. Is to yeah. enjoy. I live, uh, I live right by the lake up on the north side. And I'm just... You know, my, I have a nine to five. I'm just gonna quit. I'm gonna call in sick all week. And just ah! <laughs> yeah, I used to live right there on Urban Park in uh, Clarendon. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Not far from there. Not far yeah, from there. Yeah. Yeah. For many years since '79. So, oh wow. Yeah, I've only been out here three years. But okay. yeah, I love the North Side and oh, yeah. always stayed in Wrigleyville. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm in Edgewater, so like. Two, okay. Yeah, so you further not, north. Just a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right by there. And yeah, it's it's great. Just. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Being yeah. that close but to the. But this lake. is, I mean, the lake's right here. I mean, I can walk in distance. So it's, oh know, yeah. It's still. Exactly. It's so great. Awesome. And they have like a little pier right over here, I'm pretty sure, right? Where you yeah, can, yeah, oh, you cool. get right Absolutely. to it. Yeah, As so. a matter of fact, I was hearing the music, so now that we're going this way, I can confirm <laughs> that they're out here on the lakefront playing, the, you know, the house, the DJs come and play the house music. Oh, wow, that's great. So that's what they're doing tonight in a couple of locations. Sure. I heard it coming from, my, while I was standing there, I'm like, are they playing over there? Yeah. So it would be right over here with these people, let's see. Oh, they got the lights yeah. out. Then maybe they are playing tonight. Must be doing I something. heard. Yeah, the people are out there. I heard the music. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can hear the music. That's great. Oh, the DJ's gonna be out tonight. Well, that goes on until ten. So if okay. I can make it back this way. There you go. That'll be cool. I kept getting a little extra. On. That's great. I don't have any change, but. Can't get me nothing. Oh, okay. You know, I usually do. I keep a couple extra dollars. I just don't have any. You think uh, it ain't enough to go around, sir? Uh, you know, you, have to, you just have to decide because it's not enough to go around. You can't every. You just can't. That's really and that's really it. Like I keep, I keep I, every time I get a couple singles, I throw them in there and then. Oh, it's always out, somebody. The next, then the next corner, somebody else. So it just, exactly. it's never ending. You just have to just do your best and keep. Exactly. You know. Exactly. I understand, sir. Yeah. So and I have yeah. That tonight. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, trying to enjoy the last of summer. And next week it's going to be in the 90s and so. Yeah. But what I bet you it's going to start being cold. I mean, September, October, it always does. Yeah. Well, we usually get a nice mix. You can't predict it though. Mm hmm. No. Exactly. This yeah. is a surprise to know that they're out tonight because another location is active. So that's good. Mm. So did you grow up here in Chicago? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yep, born and raised. Born and raised. South Side. Started on the South Side, but uh -huh. moved to the North Side early in life and okay. finished grammar school. Went to Lakeview High School in Ashland and River Park. Oh, okay. Um, yep, spent quite, raised my children up there. Uh -huh. Yeah, many years. That's great. Yeah, you've had a whole life here. That's cool. Yeah, much ethnicity, diversity. Yeah. Just, my town, Chicago, yes. <laughs> I, and I, I, yeah, I love it. It really is. Like you said, it's so diverse. There's so many people here. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's great. I mean, it has its issues, but sure. I think um, it's just a great place. 
Uh, and that's, I always say it's not like you have, there's two Chicago's. There's the people of Chicago, South Side, North Side, West Side, doesn't matter. And then there's the Chicago government. Absolutely. You know, that's really it. Like the people that have the problems, they complain about, oh, Chicago's this, Chicago's that. You're talking about what the government is doing, what the, it's the state or the town, the city, how they're treating people, how they're doing things, how it's set up for people, and what people are having to do in response to, to the opportunities they're given, to the help that they're given. Mm -hmm. That's one part. But if I, I've never met a person in Chicago that I didn't get along with, that I didn't like, that wasn't just great, unique, and interesting, and, and good to talk to. I, I do this, you know, 9 to 5. When I'm, when I'm not doing 9 to 5, I do this. And I talk to people from all over Chicago, and it's wonderful. Every single one of them is great. Right, that's why you just, it is definitely a skewed um, projection of Chicago. Well, it's not real, that's not Chicago. Absolutely, no, I, it's absolutely not. No, it's, I, I think that's very much how it is in every place, right? There's New York, and then there's the people of New York. There's right, right, LA, it's a skewed the, perception, yeah. you know, and it, yeah. you gotta just decide if you're gonna travel, if you're gonna enjoy, if you're gonna mm -hmm. be a decent human being everywhere you go. Exactly. And then it shouldn't matter where you go. Exactly. And that's, you know, and that's what they say. No matter where you go, there you are. So, exactly. you know, you're bringing yourself with you. And exactly. So, if you're tuning in as a decent human being, yeah. then you're going to add something to humanity, then you just keep, you go wherever you want to go. You trust yeah. God. Yeah, and you'll find, you'll, you'll meet, it'll, it'll come your way. There's a whole universe out there, and it'll, it'll all come your direction if you're open to it. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up in, in California. I've been out here like five years. Oh, wow. What made you come? My daughter. Her mom is from here. Okay. Her, yeah, her mom and I split up, and she came with my daughter, so I came too. Cool. Yeah. You like it? Uh, what yeah. part of California were you in? So, I grew up in Northern California, and then I moved to L.A. for my 20s, and then I came here. Okay. Yeah, so I, I got bounced around both. Um, it's I, I, it's a lot colder than I'm used to, that's for sure. I never, <laughs> I never saw snow, never once growing up. The first time I saw it was when I came here, and that was a shell shock. Um, but other than that, like I said, the people are really great. It's wonderful. There's so much diversity. Obviously, I'm a foodie. It's a big, oh big God, food city. Yeah, I, yeah, when I when I moved here, I was like this big. So I've been having to control how, how much I'm going. But when I go, I'll, I'll find some great restaurants. And yeah, they got some great ones. such a good city for that. Such a good city. Yeah. I mean, people come from all over the world. Yeah. To visit Chicago. Exactly. I don't care what they say about Chicago. That, and that's exactly it. It's a world-class city for exactly mm -hmm. that. People come from all over. And that's why I love doing this. People get in the car, like I said, from, from all over Chicago and then all over the world on the weekends. Sure. I, I talk to tourists from everywhere. It's really great. Mm -hmm. That's, good. that's yeah. the nice part about this job. I used to do Uber and Lyft. Uh -huh. That's the nice part about it. You yeah. know, never know who you're going to meet. Never know, yeah. Yeah, and I like I don't drive once like at, like after 10 p.m. I don't drive. Oh, not at all. Yeah, and you'll you, you'll never find someone bad. I've never had any issues ever. Good you for know? you. Good for and you. And that's yeah, and that's the reason why I know after after 10 it can be a little little concerning. You get a lot of the drunks, and then it's a problem. But, sure. Yeah. So you used to do this yourself. For mm -hmm. how, how long did you do it for? Probably a year, year and a half. <clears throat> I um. I didn't have, I didn't have the, you know, I don't, it's a lot more streets and stuff than I remember. It was hard to navigate, uh -huh. not being able to see the addresses and things like that when I went places. Oh, sure. And um, all of that slow driving, bam, like, it was just, no, it's just kind of be nerve wracking. Sure. But I know some people that do very well. I have a friend, good friend of mine, he does very well. Yeah. Uh, plus works full time, so. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, I started doing this in in when I lived in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and it, it was then it was for extra money, um, and then you know I worked in I work in tech and I worked in tech out there, but out there if you work in tech you make six figures you're still qualify for food assistance. Are you kidding me? Yeah. In San Francisco. In San Francisco. How long does that have? Yeah, it's it's still that way. If you if you make I think a hundred and ten thousand annually, you still qualify for rental assistance. They don't assistance. have any. 
they don't have any affordable housing there. Yeah, none. No, it's not. No. Why would they keep it that way? That's terrible. Right, and and um, and well, because the technology, right? People pay like you know for the big high tech companies, mm -hmm. starting salary one hundred forty thousand, one hundred fifty thousand, and if you marry someone that's also making one hundred fifty thousand, then you're you're able to survive. You're doing okay. You're here. Survive. Right, and that's the level. Like that's the level of that's of crazy. Where the income has to be. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. That's a lot of stress with that. It, and it really is. It really yeah, is. Yeah, I would imagine making that kind of money. It's a lot of stress with that. Yep. And then, um, you know, I come here. I, I brought my job with me. Mm -hmm. And so now it's like 9 to 5. I'm like, oh, I, like, I can afford to live. I can afford to eat. It's not, Good I'm not you. worried about it, you know. Good but I, you. I do this because I work from home. The only person I know out here is my daughter. So, you know, it's like this is how I socialize. This is how Good I talk to people. Yeah. And then again, I get to see the city, get to explore, get to That's find true. places. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's you get like to learn adventure. about the city, you get to explore the city, exactly. you get to meet different people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's a great way to um, get acclimated to a city. Exactly. Yeah, and that's and that's why because I, I grew up in and again in the North Bay area, about like thirty minutes from San Francisco, forty minutes, and then I was driving all around the Bay Area, and I learned more about it in the one year that I was there than in the twenty years I grew up there. Wow. So I was like, yeah, like there's there's something to it. So I just said, okay, I'm gonna do it here too. And good for you. I'm yeah. glad it's available everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. To exactly. take advantage of them. Yeah. And it is, it's it's definitely good. It's, you know, it pays for the car, essentially. pays for the insurance, cell phone, all that stuff. It's, you make good money doing it. Are you it. out every day? Or? Um, I do, yeah. So I do the 9 to 5, and then after 5, I drive until about 10, 9 or 10. Um, like, now I'm on my way home. Go got to watch the dog and do all that. Um, you say, I'm sorry, say again? Uh, so I do, like, 9 to 5, and then uh, and then after 5 to, like, around 9, at 9 or 10, mm -hmm. I'll do that. And then, like, so now I'm on my way home. Um, and then on the weekends, if I don't have my daughter, then I do, then I do more. How old is your daughter? She's nine and a half. Oh, okay. She's a big girl. Mm -hmm. She's getting big. Getting big. I'd say she's nine and a half going on 19. Yeah, she's growing fast, right? Yeah. And you, these are tech children, so they were born in tech, so I, I'm yeah. sure they're way advanced. Way advanced. She's always learning stuff. She's on YouTube all the time. Oh, wow. You know, and again, I work in tech. I'm a cloud infrastructure engineer, and she showed me stuff on my phone, how to fix this thing I had. She's like, oh, just click this button, do this, go to settings, do that. And I'm like, all right, how do you know already? I love it. It runs yeah. in the blood. Uh, and Good that's, you. yeah, and that's really it, exactly, because I do teach her, like, I showed her how to build a computer and, and do all that stuff, because, yeah, I'm like, here, here, you can learn. It's, it's you gotta, you gotta jump into it. You don't I, think that's, you don't think that's the technology's going anywhere? It's definitely not. No way. Never. No way. No. no. So we've never, ever, in the history of our species, we've never gone backwards. Okay. Ever. It's just never okay. happened. Okay. You know, um, some policies currently in the 50s have, have gone backwards a little from currently now, but, you know, technology's never gone backwards. The things okay. we're doing, you know, like we never stopped using the printing press once it existed. Is it really getting more advanced? What do you mean? As is far as technology, software, and, and things, is it really advanced, getting more and more advanced? It definitely is, um, at, like exponentially, like it doubles in how, how advanced it is, every iteration of it, right? Mm. But that what's interesting, it's not, it's still not to the level of like, um, that movies would make you think, right? Like artificial okay. intelligence, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody, right? And you think, okay, is artificial intelligence is going to be a thing? Is it going to work? Are robots going to start kicking the doors down type of yeah, stuff? Right. We're nowhere near it. Nowhere? Nowhere really? near Nowhere near it. Are you sure? 100%. I used to, I knew people that, that program taught AI. They're like, this is what they did in, in Silicon Valley. I talked to them and done tons of interviews with people at other companies. So they're companies. projecting where we're going, but that's not where we are. Exactly. Exactly. Do you ever think we'll get to the level of that they've been putting on movies and stuff? Yes and no. Uh -huh. I think I think we'll maybe get to some capabilities. Okay. But it's a, it, we've also never predicted correctly ever. Okay. Ever. It, you know, if you look at the what you know they thought it was what the 20th century would look like in the 19th century. Mm -hmm. They thought everybody's gonna be on blimps everywhere, like in this <laughs> steam powered vehicles. That's what everybody was gonna like have. Like the Jetsons. Exactly. And then you look at in the 80s, what did they think 2015 was gonna look like, right? Back to the future, right? 1985 mm -hmm. to 2015. They thought we're gonna have holograms, we're gonna have hoverboards, we're gonna have all that <laughs> We're nowhere near any of that. We're okay. nowhere near any of that. Okay. 
And so, so we never predict it. We truly never predict it. Mm. Um, and 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 so for that reason, I think we're we're not really going to understand what's how it's going to work. But we're definitely going to continue to be more advanced. Okay. Uh, um, it's just the level of complexity required mm. to to be to make a person right to be as complex of a thinker as we are as humans are sure. is so so far beyond what we realize. Like, is it? Yeah, I was talking to somebody who who was they were programming artificial intelligence, and they said, okay, if you want artificial intelligence to recognize a dog you have to show it 10,000 pictures of dogs what and then if you want it to recognize a cat you have to show it 10,000 pictures of a cat but it's gonna forget what a dog looks like stop okay oh, so we got way oh my goodness so many layers to we're it we're nowhere near oh wow we're nowhere is that near right it. Because the, and so so the human mind we barely understand the human mind so how are we going to recreate it we right. don't okay. we we're nowhere near understanding the human <laughs> mind actually so so we're just we're not going and and part of you know part of what we have is is you know they create a neural network in in uh, in technology speak but we have a, a map in our minds right so if you see a tree you see a tree you see a tree you know those are trees and in your mind you've created that map for that and then well what does a tree do they have fruit they have seeds they have leaves they have right and all these words that come off of it and that's a map that we've created in ourselves that we we just don't have machines don't have that wow they're nowhere near it um and it's just going to take a really really long time to well, I'm so glad to talk to you. <laughs> you know, because really all we have as human beings is what we're given. Uh -huh. What we look at on TV. and what I mean, you can, you know, what you Google. and But until you talk to a person that right. actually is in it and knows, we really don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's all I'm trying to say. I mean, I know 100%. information's available. Yeah. But we could never know the level of where we are unless you're actually in it. Exactly. And then, the, and that's the, the also the biggest problem with technology is they're all trying to hype it up so they can sell it mm. that because that's how technology works right that you know look at tesla tesla was saying oh we can go five and a half hours on a single charge we can go and and you know have this speed we have self-driving cars are going to be available in august none of that is true <laughs> none of that is true but they said that so that investors believed in it true. to then all the money and all the money into it and that's exactly how technology is technology is you know the um, investment bankers that's there's people that that's their whole thing they'll invest in software it'll boom up to being worth a hundred million when they paid you know fifty thousand for it and then they sell it for a hundred million to Google and they make their money out and that's that's kind of been the cyclical thing and that's where we get those booms like when the internet became big mm -hmm. and then all these dot coms collapsed and all this stuff and there was a huge loss of money and then it normalized it just keeps doing that same thing over and over and over again okay. um and there's just a good and a bad side to it like you know cryptocurrency if you remember cryptocurrency yeah, yeah. right and if remember it it's gone it's, already it's still it's it, and i actually i'm uh, big on i'm big <laughs> on cryptocurrency i like it it's great i invest you in like it. it okay but it's it's one of those things where i it was gonna be a big bubble it had to and then the actual use cases for it, the actual usage for it is is now being realized because first people didn't know what it was They're like well right. this is just a cool idea like nfts right we think okay an nft is just a picture right it's a picture of something and you can you you say that you own that picture well you can just right click and save a picture that's on the internet that's yeah. not hard to do but if you create an nft of a building you can sell one one hundredth of a building and become a one one hundredth owner of a building of something. Really? See, and that's that's the actual technology that NFT should be and could be using, hmm. and that would make sense because imagine being able to invest in one one hundredth of that building right yeah, there. Yeah. So whatever, that's the cool stuff. That's okay. the interesting stuff with NFTs and cryptocurrency. But people were trying to hype it up. So <laughs> how did they hype it up? They said, oh, it's this artwork, it's all this cool stuff, digital art, and we're gonna sell cryptocurrencies and every every dollar we make is gonna be worth millions later because right, it's imagination. They're they're saying this is what could be, this is the potential, but without the actual sol solid of what is it, what what's the use case for it. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference. So so NFTs will have a use case and it'll it'll be something like that because mm -hmm. you can have work contracts you can have you know people essentially say okay this is what this will be and you're getting a slice of and you can sell out a slice of that mm -hmm. which is really interesting okay. yeah. so I 
into it. It's good to talk to somebody who's got some knowledge, <laughs> is knowledgeable about it. I'm, I'm glad to have someone to listen, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so interesting. I'm like, it makes so much sense when you have someone explain it to you. You know, right. it's like those little increments. Like, just tell me, it's like I'm a two year old. Talk to me. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Yeah. And that's and that's okay. really yeah, exactly. That's the level you have to be like, okay, explain it like I need to you know, yeah. break it down for the normal person. <laughs> Vice ass pieces, yeah. please. Yeah, and that's really it because it it is. If you hear the technology of it, people are like, oh, it's cryptocurrency. Okay, well, what what is that? Right. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah. Right. So currency, we understand that's money. Cryptography yeah. is just a network. So the money itself makes a network with other coins that mm -hmm. all keep records of all transactions that have ever occurred. That's the cryptology network, the cryptographic mm. network. And so that's why the name is crypto. Because um, it just means a network. It's a map. It's, that's all. That's, oh, okay. see? Right? But it sounds like it could be something super high tech. It's not. <laughs> and this yeah, is, really yeah. something so mysterious, right? Yeah, see? And that's <laughs> that's what, like, I I created a career. I was a high school dropout. I taught myself IT. That's right. Because once you learn it, once yeah. you take the time to look at it, it's very, very dumb. It's uh -oh. all very dumb. It's not that smart. Okay. Because all technology has to essentially break down to a zero or one. Light on, light off. That's it. Everything. Okay. GPS, this map is a series of zeros and ones. And the path that we're going on is a one. And the zero is all the other ones that we're not going. And then they just create a graphical picture to show the zeros and ones. That's what this map is. Really? And yeah. you understand that? Yeah. That's all. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. I actually broke it down. How did it all come together? See? But right, but if, if you were like, if I were to ask you, how does a GPS map work? You would exactly. It'd be clueless. Yeah, no That's idea. so yeah. true. <laughs> but now you know. It's just dumb zeros and ones. Everything. All of it. No middle ground. No middle ground. Oh, no, no. Not, uh, once we get what's called um, quantum computing, mm -hmm. that's when it's going to be like, oh, okay, because it's anything in between zero and one in decimals is infinite, right? Oh, okay. Think of that. So a decimal place could be an infinite number, 0 0.001332, right? So that's what becomes, instead of a zero or a one, it's a 0 0.1369722, and that mm -hmm. becomes whole other layers. But... I'm nowhere near figuring that out. They say, <laughs> once they were like, once we do this, we'll be able to teleport. Probably not, but you know, the, it's going to be something. We'll see what happens. We'll yeah, see. definitely paying attention to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, we'll be evolving with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, we have to because there has to be a use case. At the end of the day, you and I are the users. We're the people that are. We gonna... are, and that'll always be the case. Exactly. So it has to be dumbed down to a point for me to understand it and, and you as well then after. I got you. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still feels mm -hmm. nice. People are out. It's nice. Oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. Nice. You know it's funny, it's this is chilly, but if this weather was happening in March, mm -hmm. people would be out in shorts. Oh absolutely. <laughs> sure. yeah, now that's Chicago. Exactly. That, now that's Chicago exactly. for sure. All right, here you are. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I hope Good you have a great to night. Hear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.